Today we're looking at the top 20 trending scale model kits for March 2024. Lots of new entries, plenty of surprises. Make sure you watch to the end as we discover what's getting everyone excited in the world of scale modelling. Thank you. Let's get straight into it with number 20. Flying in at number 20 is Hobby Boss's new tooling of the USB 24J Liberator in 148 scale. This kit comes with 502 parts and 21 sprues. Its overall length is 430 millimeters. The wingspan is 700 millimeters. Comes with PE parts, masks, and the decals for three different options. Rolling at 19, we have US M76 Amphibious Cargo Carrier, the Otter, early production in 135 scale, made by Gecko Models. Comes with photo etch and decals, set in the Vietnam War, of course. Coming in with a bang at number 18 is a Dazvux 8.8cm flak and 9 ton Vomac. This new kit can be built in driving or firing position has ammunition frames and grenades included, full interior including the engine and it has a detailed engine with optional removable engine cover plate. Photo etch included and can be built uh, in open and closed positions with the gun in operation or as folded. And there are four marking schemes. At 17 Magic Factories 148A4M Skyhawk making two variations of the A4M and the radium nose section has several options Italiari's Mackie C200 takes a position at number 16 with their brand new moulds this is in 132 scale Coming in at 15 is Tamiya's new tooling of a German machine gun team set in the mid World War II in 135 scale. Good in any dioramas, and being a new tooling, the detail is excellent. And look at those models, they're great. That'll keep you busy. Just get your magnifiers out to paint those eyes. At 14, we have Meng's Atreides Ornithopter from the film June. That's in 172 scale. They're quite pleased they've managed to obtain the rights to make that model. Rifield Models Zondercraft Fahrzeug 234 Puma with engine parts is coming in at number 13. Looking to have some beautiful details on their radius. Rifle models you will appreciate if you've made them have a lot of parts also having 3d printed wheels which really go to set the model off number 12 is airfix 148 british bulldog mark 2 new tool in with lots of detail At number 11, they fix 172 version of their new tool in the Boeing Chinook HC1. That seems to have some really good detail and something to look forward to as well. We could do with a new Chinook in that scale. Last month's number one is this month's number 10. That's Tamiya's new version of the Leopard Tank. A really nice looking model, a really nice tool in. Tamiya of course makes some superb kits and it's quite a surprise this has dropped all the way down to number 10. Been in the top 10 for a long time now is Kotari's new BF109 K4 Messerschmitt in 132 scale. We're all looking forward to this one. Magic Factories US Combat Vehicle, the M10 Brooklyn 135 scale, is at number 8. 
and this model it really does look actually to have some superb detail and number seven we have mini arts version of the sdkfz 234 puma version also with full interior photo etched parts lots of cracking detail there's two in the top 20. Coming in at number six is Tamiya's KS 600 motorcycle and sidecar with figures in 135 scale. And an absolute cracking kit. It's really nice to see these kits from Tamiya. It's about time we had some new versions and new tool-ins. At number five is Border Models Heinkel H111 H6 in 135. Everyone's waiting for this one. It's constantly in the top 10 at the moment. Number four is ICM's MH60L Blackhawk US Special Forces Helicopter. That's going to be made in 148 scale. A nice new tooling from ICM. At number three is Eduard Spavero SM79 Heavy Retro Bomber. I would advise you a purchase kit with caution. It's uh, technically difficult to make. It's an old tool-in. Edouard have made it in a limited quantities. It comes with six markings. It does have resin parts, it does have PE parts, but it is going to be a challenge of a kit. Number two is Edouard's limited edition Freedom Tiger. That's coming in 148 scheme and comes with lots of different camouflage options. Before we get into the final one, I'd just like to thank everyone for your time and patience in watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and could you show some support for the channel and please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So at number one, we have Airfix's B24H Liberator in 172 scale. And this was number one January, dropped back to number 11 last month, but now with its imminent arrival, I think that's why it shot back up to number one. It's due out on April the 8th. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.